Some of the things I'd like to get off the to-do list first, other than anything of opportunity that presents itself out in the dead fire, is to drop off Baron back in Hasango and then return to Fort Deadlight. I had promised that I would help Seraph and track down his missing friend, who happened to be last seen at Fort Deadlight. After that, I suppose, we with our Principi flag still flying should head over to Dunwich, another pirate base. Captain Ferrante asked to see me after he heard of how I disposed of Captain Benwith. These pirates... Hmm. Lawlessness is rife out here in the dead fire, and of course pirates are taking full advantage of it. Personally, if I had the power, I'd get rid of them, but I don't have that power, so I'm forced in a way to acknowledge that they do exist, and I'd rather have them on my side than against me. So it means tarnishing my spirit a bit by lowering myself to a level in which I do some jobs for them now and then. I don't know why Dario Deleen wanted that mosaic down in the old city under Nekataka, but it does rightfully belong to the Juana, and I hope that whatever action he plans to take with it, that it will somehow end up with those that it belongs to. Truth be told, I'll just be glad to get away from Nekataka for a while. It's a nice place, but every place, especially the big ones, have nasty undersides. They always do. I'm just glad to be on my ship and to sleep in my nice quarters with Shoti at my side keeping me warm at night. We sail for Hasango. You sure I'm going in the right direction, exactly. Yep. It's up this way. And Adair is back in the party. We're going to drop off what at one point I thought was his son, Baron. Baron. They pronounce it Baron. Hopefully the Naga have not returned. At least I have a fairly good idea where Aethys is. But I think I made a good impression on the Naga. And that's a start. I don't necessarily want to be friends with them. What's happening here? Adair looks up expectantly as Baron disembarks. Dao without a word to anyone. Baron begins to head off, staring straight ahead with sunken eyes, and doesn't look and doesn't break stride when he passes Adair. Baron. The boy has taken another several steps before he seems to have heard anything at all. And when he stops, he doesn't turn to face Adair at first, as though keeping his options open. A long moment passes then. With persisting hesitation, he turns. I'm not sure what you want to talk about. I have my life. And I know it's because of you. I know I should be thanking you. But the truth is, I don't know if I want to be here now. Or what I'm supposed to be doing. And I still don't know what to say to Aethys when I meet him one day. It should be the other way around. He's the one who owes you an explanation. Yeah. Baron avoids Adair's gaze. You hear me, kid? He owes you. Baron gives an absent nod, still looking down, and says no more. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we shouldn't return after a while and see if he's all right here. Right. You can be all right here, kid. Not in much of a mood to talk, if you don't mind. Well, the lighthouse is working. Again. Thanks to me. But it looks like they still have a lot of cleanup to do here. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get anything else off being here. Let's, uh... Head back to the ship and out. There's a lot of bounties to get. Out in the dead fire, of course. A lot of places to explore. Um, yeah. There's two Prince Shippy places that I would like to go to, but there's a bounty close by. But I think we should go pay a visit first. Wanna? Nice to know if we ever become low on supplies, I can trade with other ships at sea. Okay, so we have Baina. Baina to go and take care of. She's one of my bounties, so... 
A little bit of a nice forest here on this island. This, Enemies ahead. It's probably going to get violent immediately, but I won't be the one to pull my weapon out first. I see trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Banna's right there. The cipher. Since they're <laughs> in a really exposed position, take them out, please, a lot. Here. Fire ball. <laughs> nice damage. This does not work. <laughs> ah. Ow. What? Uh, okay. They changed the paladins to be gold packed. I'm not sure what that is about there. In shiny gold right now. Just about as useful as a bump on a pickle. We won't show them the wit feather yet. Okay. We're getting hurt here. Let's go. <sighs> Dare's get uh, getting hurt. Everybody's getting hurt here. That's not very helpful. Okay, this one is really hurt. There, he's down now. That was getting annoying. Hey. <sighs> Let's see you there. Do you have any healing potions? times. That was about as useful as a bump yeah. on a pickle. I need some help here. Yeah, he does. Makes no difference. Okay, one of the ciphers is down. Flank, flank band. She is tough. She down. Everybody focus on Bana. Let's go. Does she bring back one of her priests? <sighs> Evidently we're not dealing with an amateur here. Just like that. Oh, come on! This is futile. Yeah. Oh, good. Just when I thought we had Van, she she's whipping around the battlefield. This does not work. Just like seek. Okay. Adair got the last strike on her. She was tough. Really tough. Hmm? I've got it. Let's pick up these items. It's worth a fair bit, we can sell them all. What does Baina have on her? Ah, she's got a nice brigadine. Really nice. I might actually wear that myself. And a nice belt. Maybe Adair should wear that. Oh, 
All right, despite the problem there, defeating her, we've won. So I guess that we can leave. No, I just want to take a look around this area. Maybe there's more on the island, I don't know. I don't suppose this will be another island that I can name whatever I want. What was the leader's water? A little bit of water we picked up. Ship is being repaired by our crew. Okay. I think we should return to Nakataka and change out our flag. Sounds like a good idea to me. And let's go to what we should have finished. Go back to Fort Deadlight. And then after that we'll go to Dunnage. So for that we're going to need Prince Shippy flags. Although we may be chased by pirate hunters doing so. Our ship is at least fast now. We could also go and explore the rest of the island that Nekitaka's on. Probably, things probably won't be so much of a challenge there for us anymore. Maybe we can do that when we come back. But for now, let's just go to these uh, Prince Shippy places. See, look, I'm not sure, like, that's a Valian tra trading ship. I'm not sure if they'll come after us, though. So. Hmm. change out our flag and we'll leave. All right. Yeah, last time we did this, we were chased by pirate hunters. Okay, so where would it be. We have a new flag. Crooksburg Colors. Maritime flags declare a ship's origin and allegiance and are used to distinguish friend from foe on the high seas. This is the flag flown by vessels loyal to the slavers of Crooksburg. That's where we got it from. Okay. I don't suppose I'd ever be using that flag, but we'll just h hang on to it just in case. You never know. Not that I plan to go around catching slaves. However, if they have a base, it might be nice to uh, sneak in. Flying one of their flags. Flying their colors. And then we can attack them. Alright. Ah. Yeah, let's try to flee. We failed. The enemy ship prepares for naval combat. Ah. Perhaps we should have left. We still have a chance to flee. Ah, the Goat's Horn has the chance to come out and claim it for themselves. Some quick maneuvering to douse secures a wind gauge before the Goat's Horn. So this is a galleon, so it's a much larger ship. We'll try to get it to outpace it. Though they're, I mean, they do have more on their crew, but not by substantial amounts. Okay. Um, retreat. Order our crew to flee with all possible haste. The enemy vessel recedes behind me until finally it disappears from the horizon. I knew we were faster than them. Let's keep going. It's just that we didn't have enough chance to get away. As soon as we left Nekataka, they were on us. Okay, so Dunnage is our, where we're going after. And perhaps we should switch who's in the party. Let's, uh... Huh. Who else could we take with us? I know we have members that uh, I haven't brought, but I just, I've just been hoping that they'll stay on the ship. I mean, they have been contributing to our ship to ship combat. I think this is good enough for now. Fort Deadlight, here we go.
Karatapu Channel. There's the island I named. The first one, Zorup's Island. Actually, I kind of regret that. It should be named Zorup Island. It's like we're, we are a metal folk human. It'd be like calling it Metal Folk's Island <laughs> instead of Metal Folk Island. There's a storm ahead, actually. Not directly ahead, we can try to keep away from it. Thankfully it's not over our, where we're heading. Alright, so there's two reasons to come back here. One for Seraphim to find his old mate, as he would call him. Track him, um, he was hoping to start tracking him down. Here. And the other reason was because yeah, I don't know if it's a good one. The captain. You're the captain who Aldi's invited to parley, ain't you? Yeah, the I'm cap to keep an eye out. Captain Aldi's was asking to parley, and she said it wasn't a trap. Though I do believe it is a trap. He taps a finger beneath his one eye that isn't covered by a black patch. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Lead on. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. Hi, it sure is. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous. You must be Captain. Glad you could make it, Loveson. <laughs> Captain Kelvin Zatha, at your service. The battle-hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards me pleasantly. Her miscolored eyes, one raven wing black, the other an icy blue, rove up and down my face. Wow, she looks very exotic with those two different eyes. Like what you see. <laughs> and she's an elf too, so she's more lithe. A golden solonet gleams against the scarred skin of her chest. When I notice it, she flips it to reveal the mark of her status on the other side. The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. I don't suppose you're going to want me to assassinate him, are you? Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. Of course. You killed my fourth chair, and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand. If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. I show her, uh, despite the violent swirling about her words, she purses her lips, eager for my answer. I show her the solonet. We had a dispute between pirates. So you settled it, as pirates do. Suppose I can't fault you for that. Still. Her lashes lower over her blue and black eyes, fanning like dark feathers atop her cheeks. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? I don't know if I answer her wrong. She may order all of her men to attack us, but... I'm pretty confident with our group, even though the last fight was pretty tough. Maybe I can take his seat on the council. I'll take Ka uh, Benwith's seat on the council. Only so long as you're loyal to me, you will. But someone's got to fill his seat. Suppose you were to throw your weight behind mine. I know. I see that where this is going. Aye. I think you're seeing the way of things. How we might come to a beneficial agreement. She winks her blue eye, flicking her solonet on the end of its chain. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smattered in your hair. <laughs> I'd like to make you a deal. It's about eliminating Captain Ferrante, isn't it? Forgive me for dragging you all this way, but I find the proposition of a partnership best works in person. Me and mine within the Principe would make for powerful allies on your side. But would you give us loyalty in return? That, I'd like to know. I don't know. What is it you're after? Perhaps and perhaps not. You're the cautious type. 
I can respect that. Or maybe... Her miscolored eyes look me up and down. You just like to be wooed. But is it gold, booze, or power you're after? I'll offer you all three, and some, if you join with me. But I like to be courted too, lovesome. And I always come first. <laughs> she winks at me, her pink tongue playing at her teeth. Say you wanted to entice an alliance of like-minded captains. You might start by aiding one of my best in Nekataka. She smuggles through the Undercroft. Ah. Oh. Goes by the name of Mad Morena, she does. And let me tell you, Dove, she's earned the moniker. I have heard of her before. <laughs> hmm. I get to do grunt work for another captain. I can't wait. Her expression shudders, and her crosses her arm. She crosses her arms over her chest. We don't all start at the top, Dove. You might be a captain of your own right, but if I'm to spill blood for you in battle, I want to know you're also loyal to me. You have a bright future ahead of you, Watcher. See that you don't tarnish it by flying the wrong pirate's flag. Out with the stale and in with the new, eh? I know you've met with Ferrante, that you may even be working for him, that pribbling cockrot. At least he has standards. With the flick of her fingers, the captain swipes a goblet of God's Killer Rum off of her desk. She takes a long swig before pointing at me. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I? Hmm. You want me to spy for you? How clever you are. She waggles her brows cheekily over her miscolored eyes. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding, given half the chance. Hmm. So you're saying Captain Ferrante is just another pirate too? When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. Well, what can I do you, lovesome? Tell me about the new blood in the Principe. I'm curious. We're the future. And we ain't going nowhere. We're pirates, Lovesome. We own this sea. And the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Though if you're Valian and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. I'm not Valian either. But weren't you founded by refugees from Old Valia? Generations ago. And I grew like a weed in the deerwood, you see? You say Consueglo me casitas. I say Council of Captains. You say Principi, I say best pirates in the dead fire. You say Swollenet. I say, well, some things stay the same. She flicks a gold coin and laughs heartily. Hmm. So what sort of things do you like to do in your leisure time? What? Like, for hobbies? <laughs> Besides drinking. <laughs> her eyebrows dance up to her hairline as she laughs loudly. When I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bath? Hmm. Can't argue with that. Don't guess you like the same? <laughs> I could go for a hot bath right now, in fact. She throws her head back and laughs. <laughs> well, sure. You're welcome to use mine. But perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. Yeah, I think that's kind of uh, insinuating something there that I probably shouldn't keep going with. All right, farewell. Who's to fill in Ben's seat on the Council of Captains? Uh, just even with Captain Ferranta, I feel like I'm playing with fire. There, there's no good way to. I agree with getting rid of Captain Benwith because he did actually attack and try to take the ship that I suddenly became captain of. But on it, I don't know about 
keeping keeping it going with him. I, I'll have to see what Captain Ferrante says. If if I find that he's not very honorable and he wants me to do some rather dishonorable things, then uh, maybe I'll just stay away from the Principi altogether. I mean, they don't control me. I have a lot of work to do that doesn't involve them in any way, so... Will do. Colored pins mark various shipping routes and ports on this map of the Deadfire. Ah, so they can go and sure. plunder the ships and raid them. Okay, this is an area that I haven't actually been to. Deadlight Dungeon. Well, we're here for Seraphim's Ooh, That's unusual. Friend. Yeah, it is a little unusual. There's a trap yeah. here. Mm -hmm. We're also here for, for Seraphim's friends. So I'll get it open. I don't think anyone can see me, and I really don't care about robbing uh, pirates. Uh, not at all. Which reminds me. So you use pistols, huh? Well, we have a fine pistol. Use dual pistols, so it's a blunderbuss, but I'm not sure. It's an exceptional blunderbuss. I have to see, see if he can use that properly. But anyways, let's. Uh, where are we supposed to start? Seraphim wants me to help him track down an old pirate named Romaro. He doesn't believe that Romaro, a pirate hunted by the Principi for mutiny, could have committed the treachery they accuse him of. He asked me to help search Fort Deadlight for information about Romaro's current whereabouts. Siri claimed that Romaro has left Fort Deadlight. While he was here, he stayed in the room down the hall on the right, and that's from the tavern. So, yeah, it's kind of an area that's not... We're going to have to go find our way to, if I remember how to get around this fort. Yeah, this is the top, obviously, is where the captain, this captain is. So we're going to have to go down, to, it's called to court. And I don't think we can get there exactly from here. Okay, so, um... Looks like perhaps we can go this way. That, uh... <laughs> clothing, if you can call it that, that you're wearing, Shoti, is just awful. It looks god-awful. Like it's made from human skin, almost. I know it's not, but at least I hope it's not. It's got a lot of magical properties on it, so it's good to keep using it. And it's the middle of the night, midnight. Okay, let's go to court. 